Hi Capricorn, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to our October 2020 monthly tarot forecast. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you are a cross watcher, you might be able to resonate with some of these messages. I would like to say welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe. I do appreciate it. All right, what does the sign of Capricorn have coming up for the month of October 2020? Capricorn. All right, let me see. Okay, actually, the way that these came out, we have the Eight of Pentacles with the King of Wands. At your foundation, I have the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, the Hermit in the recent past, crowning you, we have the Emperor. Coming up in the near future, I have Temperance. Okay, Five of Swords in the position of your power. how others are viewing you. I do have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. All right. There is the Ace of Swords, an energy that you have going into November. We have the Sun. Okay. Some Aces here, Capricorn. All right. The overall energy is the Empress. Interesting because we have the Emperor and the Empress here in this, in this spread. All right. So the Empress fertility so uh, if you're a female and you want to conceive a baby uh, give it a go here in October for some of you, you definitely could be conceiving if that's something you want go for it the energy is there uh, but the Empress represents growth very creative energy. Okay, so I am reading for some Capricorns. You might be a single mom. And so we have the Ten of Wands here. We also have, yeah, that's interesting. We have the Moon. If I keep going, we have the Six of Cups. So you might be a Capricorn woman, you might be a Capricorn mom, a water sign child, in particular a Cancer could be significant. This is very strong Cancerian energy. And so if you're a mother, you might have a Cancer child. You might be a single mom. If you are waiting on some sort of help, some sort of assistance, some sort of support to come in, we have the Six of Pentacles here. I don't, I don't think you're seeing this. At least when I'm filming this, um, so by the end of September, maybe, maybe you asked somebody for a loan or you asked somebody for some sort of help. Uh, especially if this is in regards to a child and maybe you weren't sure if you were going to receive that help i see it coming in but it's unknown at this time you're not aware 
So I do see some of you finding out about this uh, towards the end of October. So I do see help coming in. And if you were trying to grow, maybe within your career, maybe you took on extra hours, you, you might even be working uh, several jobs. I do see growth. I do see growth, but I don't think it's been easy. I do see some of you uh, definitely growing within your career, and it's because you've been maybe working extra hours. Some of you very, very focused here on your work. Right at the start of the month, we have the Eight of Pentacles crossed by the King of Wands. So lots of very creative energy here. Could find yourself to be more creative than you normally are uh, when it comes to your work. I'm just seeing what I'm getting with this. Uh, some of you could be, you might be in like a business partnership. It could be with a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. So some of you could be working with a fire sign uh, with something here in October. If this is your ex, because I'm reading for some moms, th this might be your ex. And maybe you have to work with this person here in October because, because of a child. To be honest, you might not want to do this or it might not be easy for you to do this. Now, I could be reading for some Capricorns where right at the start of October, you might be returning to work. So maybe you were out of work, some of you returning to work here or school at the start of the month. Uh, I see that financial opportunity or that news coming in prior with the Knight of Pentacles here at your foundation. Also, the energy that you were dealing with was, was slow moving, maybe even feeling as though nothing was happening. We do have the Hermit here in the recent past. So energetically speaking, not a ton going on. Also, you might have been out of work. Some of you going back to work at the start of October or starting school. With the Hermit in the recent past, you could have absolutely been um, studying something, learning something new. Maybe Maybe you taught yourself something new. Uh, for some of you, you might have learned like a new trade or you might have a new skill. And it could be because you were taught by maybe like a mentor, maybe someone who's older, someone who knows a, a lot about this, or you might have taught yourself. We do have the emperor crowning you. So I think your goal here is to feel more secure, more stable. This is what you want. Others, this is you maybe wanting to be the boss. So you're working extremely hard. Some of you are focused on a promotion. Others, we have the emperor, we have the empress. So you could be dealing with the emperor. The emperor could be the king of wands, or some of you might be dealing with two men. We do have temperance uh, energy coming up around the second week. In the near future, we have temperance, which could be you trying to stay balanced. We, we know that some of you have a lot on your plate. You might be working multiple jobs. Some of you have a family. You might be dealing with two different men. Now, one of these men could be your father, could be your boss. And then we have um, 
this King of Wands here. Could be a Sag for some of you. Uh, but this is you feeling more balanced, not as weighed down. And this is energy around the second week. You're trying to work with someone. Maybe this is someone you, you didn't want to work with here at the start of the month for some of you. Others, you're maybe getting along better with someone here at this time. And if there was a conflict, if there was something, some sort of drama or something that went on with this person, I do actually see you resolving it or at least trying to resolve it here. We have the Five of Swords in the position of your power. Which could be you feeling drained mentally, dealing with some drama, dealing with someone who plays games or plays dirty. There could have been an argument, but I see you trying, trying to get along with this person or people. And the Empress the Empress is not someone who would entertain this if there's some stuff going on with other people, if there is If there is somebody who's playing games, if this is someone that you're romantically involved with, if someone is playing games, um, you will move on. You will move on. That could be why we have two characters here. Some of you could have meditated on this with the hermit here in the recent past. Maybe you're taking baby steps. Healing yourself. And you could be moving towards something brand new, especially if somebody was acting immature, if someone was playing games. You also could be dealing with somebody who's younger, someone who acts younger. We do have the Ace of Pentacles here, and this is in the position of how others are viewing you. So you have a new possibility, you have a new beginning. Now, for those of you that this is a promotion, if this is a new job, maybe Capricorn, you were up against some intense competition. But we do have the Ace of Pentacles here, along with the Ace of Swords in the Hopes and Fears. So I see, I see victory, I see a new possibility, but I think that you had to go through some, some drama. You probably have a little bit of a headache when you're entering October here from this. This, I, I feel like you're coming out of this or you're learning how to deal with these people. It doesn't bother you as much. If these are people that you work with or somebody that you have to be around, if it's, a, if it's someone you were dating, someone you were involved with, I think that you are possibly moving towards somebody else. Or if you are partnered and there was an argument, I see you, I see you healing. I see you guys getting over that, working together. We have the emperor, we have the empress. And then we have the sun. So you do have this healing energy here with temperance, the sun. Now, some of you Capricorns, you could be finding out that you're pregnant. And this could be at the end of the month. 
this is clarity this is things coming to light now some of you this is what you're hoping for this is what you want but it, it's happening it is happening we have the sun so uh we've seen what was at the bottom of the deck we had the moon so something i feel in september was unknown there's something coming in that you were unaware of or there's something coming to light that you were unaware of so you're seeing things clearly there's also this healing energy some of you are finding out that you're pregnant so congrats and you know if you are married if you're with someone for some of you this could be something you gave up on uh, if this is something you were trying for if you're trying to get pregnant for a while uh, that's definitely a possibility for some of you that this has been a long journey a slow journey so uh, let's do some clarifying let's take a look at the five of swords for Capricorn oh, there we go You might hear my little one in the background. It's funny because he started, um, he started, he's like singing in the background. Uh, but I was just about to say that some of you possibly, possibly could be having a son, having a boy. Uh, and then he started to sing in the background. I, I'm not sure if the camera's getting it. But, you know, I just think that's kind of funny. So for some of you, that is going to ring a bell. All right. Clarifying the Five of Swords. I have the Two of Rods that just flipped out. Okay, look at that judgment. A decision is needed, that's for sure. All right, so, hmm. You have two men here. We have the King of Wands. And then we have the Emperor, which, yes, for some of you, this is the same person. This is an Aries, most likely. Let's see. Okay. So I was looking at the King of Wands. We have the Three of Cups. And it did uh, come out in the reverse. Oh, and I was just pulling one for each just to get a little bit more uh, clarity. Okay, nine of cups at the bottom of the deck. All right. So first looking at the five of swords, we do have the two of rods with judgment. So a decision is needed. Either you're waiting on a decision or you need to make a decision. So some of you need to make a decision as far as maybe mending a relationship, a friendship. There could have been some sort of dispute. Uh, and uh, here at this time, you're making a decision. I, again, I mentioned that some of you are mending a relationship. Now, this is a third party for some of you. This could be with this person being in the challenge position this might be someone that maybe wanted you to cheat if you're married if you're in a relationship that's a possibility with the three of cups in reverse that is a possibility for some of you it could be someone that you work with this person maybe wanted you to cheat to cheat there even could have been an offer on the table as far as that that's not going to be the case um for all of you this could be a friend. This could be the person that maybe you had a fight with. So this could be the friend, and that's why Three of Cups is in reverse, because you had a falling out with this person. There was a disagreement. You might work with this person. Maybe you have to work with this person. And then looking at the Emperor, isn't this interesting? We have the Knight of Cups. So if you're not married, this could be a proposal for marriage. Yeah. For some of you, 
this could be your husband this could be your future husband those capricorns that are getting into a relationship it could start out with a friend this person's your friend maybe you work with them they're a love interest that could be what you're finding out the empress is a beautiful woman and so if you're a female you might have this person around you maybe you were unaware that they actually were interested in you so you could be finding out here in october so yeah that's that's exciting let's pull you some additional guidance cards with the sun here, you're leaving the month with the energy of the sun, which is such an amazing, positive energy. You might actually feel as though you have more energy at this time. Okay. Those of you wondering about your love life, let's take a look at your love life for Capricorn. Let's take a look at this relationship. Okay, there's actually three cards there. And those of you that are wondering about career, now if you're a student, if you go to school, some of you do, uh, you might be able to resonate with this message. Also, if you're older, if you're retired, you also might be able to resonate with this message. I definitely could even be reading for some older Capricorns. Uh, you might be a grandfather. You might be a grandmother. You might be finding out that you're having a grandchild here in the month of October. So if that's the case, congrats. Um, or maybe someone's actually having the baby um, here in October. So we do have fear brown fear brown and trembling gifts okay so uh, there could be a gift that's coming in for some of you this could be something that was already on the table you might have been offered this prior but this person might be coming through with it here in October. So we seen at the bottom of the deck that there was some sort of help that's coming in for you. So maybe you asked this person or maybe they made a promise to you. Um, you could have heard about this prior or this was something that you wanted, but you were moving towards it very very slowly there is a gift of some kind that's coming in for you capricorn you also could be the one giving someone a gift but i feel like for you females it's definitely a gift coming in for you if you're male it's possible that you could be giving someone some sort of gift now it could be a marriage proposal yes absolutely uh, especially because we have the religious factors card and it does say your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so this card for me can come out um, for several different reasons one might be we have the emperor and the empress here so for some of you uh, you're either with the person that you know who you're meant to be with the, the person that you will be with maybe could be forever for the rest of your lives uh, but could also be your future husband your future wife for some of you um, but you might need to get on the same page it could be that one of you wants to get married but the other one maybe doesn't there could be something like that that is um, significant for you it could be that one of you is is 
religious versus somebody is maybe more spiritual. There could be something like that. So needing to get on the same page. Okay, wow, look at this. A new romance, a new level find its way to you. There's an opportunity to experience a positive new beginning. Okay. Long haul. Wow, look at this. Your love interest may be in it for the long haul and willing to go through it all with you. Enjoy the journey. Beautiful. Okay, rocky start. Rocky starts can lead to happy endings. You'll have to decide if it's worth the fight. The choice will be yours. Wow, Capricorn. Very nice. I never see this combination like this. So, you know, this is awesome. So some of you got off to a rocky start with somebody, but this is someone who's in it for the long haul. It is a new romance. So for some of you, you're not married yet. You're not married yet. Uh, again, there could be something there with that. For those of you that are coupled, for those of you that are married, this can be new energy that's coming in for you guys to re-spark that passion, to maybe go on a date, um, especially you know if you've been dealing with some maybe small petty stuff lately. You know we all have just been on lockdown for many months you know if you were stuck in the house with your partner maybe you guys were getting on each other's nerves things like that so this is fresh energy that's coming in for you coupled capricorns nobody's going anywhere nobody's going anywhere so it could be that your partner is going to surprise you uh, they might buy you something you might have a date night and then they give you a gift of some kind so yeah, like I mentioned, you're forgiving this if there was an argument. And, and sometimes with the Five of Swords, someone can be quite nasty. So maybe maybe someone uh, crossed some sort of line, but I do see that you will forgive this person. You might have to make a decision about that here around the third week with Judgment and the Two of Wands. It's something you will think about if you are forgiving someone. It's something you will think about. We have creative expression. Your soul longs to express itself creatively. Okay, so this is on the career front, which we do see very focused on work. And I mentioned at the very start of this reading of this creative energy to work with, no matter if you're male or female. So you do have this very creative inspired uh, energy here to work with. So this is very good. You might be expressing yourself in a more creative way in the workplace with your work in some way. And then others, like I said, a student, if you're a student, you can resonate with this. If you're older, you could be doing some creative projects. You could be painting or doing some crafts that's maybe something that you might enjoy here in October. Uh, others, this is you maybe getting creative with a gift. Yeah. Uh, for those of you that, you know, this is, this is re really resonating for you on the love front. So yeah, such an interesting read Capricorn. It's very, very positive. It's up there. Um, for one of the best forecasts that I that I did for the month of October. So I hope that you find it helpful. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe. I do appreciate it. All right, guys, stay safe and have a blessed month.